got you nervous. And we have some no. you. <laughs> We'll have no nerves, even no. though it's much too early in the morning <laughs> for us to have nerves. Anyway, Norman Lear, Rob Reiner, it's very nice to have this chance to talk with you here in Toronto because um, uh, The Princess Bride is such a remarkable film. It is so beautiful and so funny with so much action and adventure. I just hope to goodness that it, it does well for well, you. Well, you're going to help us make it do well. <laughs> Rob, it's, it's such a departure for you from Spinal Tap, which I liked so much, and Stand By Me, which was marvelous. But this is a big, massive production. Yeah, from a, from a production problem, it is a big departure because it, there you know a lot of logistics and things like that. But from a, a tone uh, point of view, it really isn't all that dissimilar f uh, from a combination of the three films that I've made before. I mean, it has a satirical... <clears throat> overlay to it that was uh, present in, in Spinal Tap, and then there's a love story that runs through the middle of it, which was in the sure thing, and then there's a there's a reality base to it, uh, where there's a, a relationship with a grandfather telling a sick grandchild a story, which is the story of the Princess Bride, which has a more realistic uh, feel to it that you that was in uh, in Stand by Me. So it's really like a combination of. So you could describe this picture as a combination of Stand By Me, The Sure Thing, and Spinal Tap. Well, I could, no. I could <laughs> describe it that way, but I, I think I'd be wrong. I think I'd be making a mistake. No, it's I a, think she's right, and you made a, an enormous step, an enormous oh. departure, and it's a, it's a film unlike any film no, I've true. ever seen. Yeah, that's true. Let, let me ask you about one thing. Uh, the audience just loves the Billy Crystal, Carol Kane thing, yeah. and here they are, made up, you know, older than God, and 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 I suppose though some people are going to look at it and wonder, well, why didn't you use real old people? I yeah. wasn't available. I just <laughs> yeah, I called <laughs> Norman. No, he, was, <laughs> he was he was busy. No, I when I when I uh, you know it's 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 styled a little bit after uh, Mel Brooks's uh, two thousand year old man that my uh, father used to do with Mel, uh, but Mel was also busy and uh, and and Billy really has played these kind of characters. I mean he he's done them on television Saturday Night Live and I just knew that he would be perfect for it and uh, he does it uh, just great. Do you think you'll be happy now going back into some kind of nice, quiet little movie, or do you want now a, big, a bigger extravagance? No, I, I mean, I don't approach things like, you know, now let's go bigger. You know, I try to think about uh, what I'm uh, thinking about and feeling about at any given point in time, and that's usually what leads me to the, ne to the next film. And as a matter of fact, the next film I'm going to do is a relatively small film. It's a love story that predominantly uh, revolves around two people. What is it? Um, <clears throat> well, it's called At Last, and it's uh, an idea that I've had for about five or six years, and it's being written by Nora Ephron. And it's about the machinations of how uh, people find each other. And everybody has a story of how they met their mates and their husbands and wives, and it's usually very strange and funny and odd. And this is about two people and how what they, the route that they go through to, to find each other. Have you cast it? No, no. We just started uh, writing the screenplay. Yeah. He's no. got to. He's got to find somebody as close as possible to Rob because yeah. the character is Rob. Oh, it, it, uh. <laughs> it is. It is so yeah. autobiographical. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Norman, you're the executive producer, and um, people associate with you uh, uh, someone who breaks new ground always, and and generally there's a fair amount of controversy about what you do. Um, this. I, I don't know. I can't find any controversy in this. <laughs> there isn't any controversy in there's it. There's no controversy in the film, but there's controversy in the getting it made. And that's where Norman really did do something very, very special. This film has been trying to get made for 14 years in Hollywood. It's been involved with many studios, many directors and producers have been involved and stars. And for one reason or another, they didn't want to take a chance because it is such a unique special film. It's uh, hard to pigeonhole. You can't categorize it. And Norman, basically, the thing that's so great about him, I've been talking about it, he's standing, sitting right here, but he goes, he's one of the last few people in Hollywood that actually goes with what he likes. He says, I like this, I'm going to make this. And he doesn't think, what are the, what is the audience going to think? What are the cards? What are the marketing device? He says, this feels good in my gut and I want to go. And we went the way. Yes. Okay. Tape? okay. Well, I think, I think that would be very hold, hold, hold interesting on second. tape. I hope you hold it. Wait a minute. Hold Brian, it. Brian, you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. 
Oh, all right. Okay, let, let me. Uh, okay. Uh, whatever kind of shot you were on, on Norman, get a different one. Yeah, I've come I've okay. back to a, a <laughs> All right, okay. <laughs> Go, Norman. Stuff here. Just pick up what he Yes, yeah. Oh, there was nothing controversial about this at all. Is that the pickup? <laughs> oh, okay. Let uh, let me just uh, go on with them with something else. We no, covered that yeah. area. I okay. Think so. good. All right. Norman, what was the budget on this? The budget was sixteen million dollars, and uh, uh, and it depended on uh, uh, the budget was sixteen million dollars. It needed a director who was going to be responsible to that figure. And it also, and, and nobody is as responsible as Rob, when he says he'll bring it in at that budget, he'll do anything to bring it in without sacrificing uh, anything on that screen, which is remarkable in this time. But it uh, also required uh, the collaboration of God because, yeah, because the it had a great deal of exterior shooting and, uh, and it was shot in England, where, which is not known for good weather. And not just out exterior, but sunny, bright, romantic exterior. Yeah. And so uh, he gave us a lot of help. Yeah. Well, it is a beautiful picture. I love the locations. And, and it's just so much fun. It really is. I hope it does well for you no, both. Thank you. Thank you. And I hope I have a chance to talk with you on your next films. That would be nice. Thanks. Thanks so much. Stop, take, please. Cat bars, please.